So we'll get straight to it. Today I'm going to go over a sample company that you can use to apply the skills that you are familiar with in bookkeeping and maybe skills that you'll learn by putting hands on. This is a sample company. It's called Craig's Design and Landscaping Services offered by QuickBooks Online. There is also a sample company that you can practice in within QuickBooks Desktop. Let me know below if you would like to see that in a future video. So this is the QuickBooks Online sample company, and it's a great way of applying what you know about bookkeeping and seeing if it's going to report the way it's supposed to reflect on your balance sheet or profit and loss or any report that you generate, you will get to see how each transaction applies and what it does to the reports itself. So if we review the sample company here, you can practice entering invoices or how you receive a payment, a credit. So you also can practice the steps on how to link a bank. So you would go right here where it says link account right on the right side. You can also upload files in the previous video. I'll go ahead and link it on top. Uh, I showed you resources that you can use to learn how to perform the book keep, bookkeeping or if you are also interested in doing your own bookkeeping for your business, this is a great way to apply what you the information that you get from those resources in a sample company without having to change anything in your current books, in your current financial books, if that is the case. Well, also um, in the previous video, if you remember, if you saw that video, I showed you how to upload your chart of accounts, also how to create your chart of accounts. Well, you will get to do that here too under accounting, under chart of accounts. You can play around how the chart of accounts that you choose for your business will look under reports. You'll get to generate reports based on the information that you enter. How are they going to look on your balance sheet? How are they going to look on your profit and loss when you enter information? So this is a great way to apply your bookkeeping before any clients. Or if you're not interested in creating a bookkeeping company, it's a great way to learn how to manage your business financials so that you know beforehand, before you start working in your books, what each step, what each transaction is going to do. I think this is a great way. You also get to practice your reconciling. So this is a perfect way to apply bookkeeping concepts and bookkeeping tasks without changing anything in your current financial books or before you even start your financial books. This is a great way to apply everything that you know, everything that you have read about. Let's try a task here on this sample company. Say you want to enter an invoice. So you'll go to, let's go do that again. You would click on the new plus sign new. You're going to click on invoice and you will choose the customer that this invoice is for. So in our example, say it's for Amy's Bird Sanctuary. You'll be able to generate all the information if this is a client that you have billed in the past. All the information is already set there. So you'll put the, the terms, uh, invoice date, due date, and down here, uh, what service did you provide for them? So say you did a custom design. You can put a description, always, always a plus. Definitely recommend putting a description of what this entails. Uh, and then everything else, rate, quantity, amount. And then, of course, if you're applying taxes, you'll uh, check this uh, mark right here. And here, in this case, we have it linked to California taxes of 8%. Of course, we can always change that. So let me know if that's something you'd like to see on how to change the tax assigned to each uh, transaction. And then you would click Save and Close. So you have applied that invoice. And if you want to go and you receive payment. So you're going to go again, we'll repeat that again, go to the plus sign new, and then we receive the payment. And the customer that we received the uh, payment for is Amy Spurt Sanctuary. And then as soon as you put the company's name, all the invoices that we have under this client will pop up. We This is the one we created today. So we're going to apply it to the $75 that we created earlier. We're going to choose how the payment was made. In this case, let's say it was done in uh, cash. Let's do say that it was done by check. 
And then, of course, we put a reference number, say check number was uh, 1252. And then where is this um, money being deposited to? Is it going to checkings? We're going to choose checking. And then we're going to choose save and close. A valuable tip that I wanted to show you, uh, just in case you need assistance, is you can take a tour of what QuickBooks Online allows you to do. So you can take a tour here, click on take a tour, and you can either get an overview or take a guided tour. Under tips and resources, there are also other tasks that you might need assistance in that QuickBooks Online guides you through. Of course, also everywhere, every window that you click on will have this question mark up on the top right hand corner that will guide you through questions that you might have. You have two options, either assistance from QuickBooks Online, an automated answer here, or you can also search a topic. It's a great way to apply what you know about bookkeeping. It will also let you know what you already understand within bookkeeping and what you might need a little bit more information in. So you get to practice tasks that are routine within your bookkeeping. And again, this is a great way and a great option that QuickBooks Online has offered so that you can, and you can even test drive QuickBooks Online before you even purchase it. This way you get a feel of what you'll be able to do, how the program runs, and to see if this is something that's going to work for your company. So let me know below, was this a, a video that you were interested in seeing? Do you use QuickBooks Online? Do you use QuickBooks Desktop? Which accounting system do you use? Are you able to practice the tasks of bookkeeping within that accounting system. So let me know below and I hope to see you at my next video.